Welcome everybody to this video where I'll be showing you the improvements we've done to the audio and animatics editing in Starboard Pro 24. The first thing I want to show you is that it's now possible to change the duration of multiple panels and keep their duration proportional to what they were before. If I select multiple panels here, press shift and go to the end of the selection, and if I stretch or reduce the duration, you'll see that it changes the duration of all the panels and keeps the duration proportional to what it was before. So this makes it very easy to adjust the duration of a scene and keep everything timed properly together. Let's just do a quick playback here. Yeah, it's not so bad. Another improvement we've done is that it's now possible to see and manipulate opacity keyframes directly from the timeline. If I play back this panel here, you can see that the information of the sign is blinking as the time goes by. But I want to change the timing of that blinking, so I'll go in my timeline, select opacity keyframe, select the layer, and now I'll be able to see the opacity keyframes for that layer. And I'll be able to click on them in the timeline, change their position, or delete them. For example, I want it to blink actually to disappear a little bit slower and show up a little bit faster like this. If I play this back now, this is exactly what I wanted. So now it's a lot easier to change the timing of the opacity change over time. And now let's move on to the audio editing improvements we've done in Starboard Pro. Here in the storyboard where a car almost hit the character, I need to add the sound of a car horn. So let me just go in my library here and when I double click a sound now, this will preview the audio inside the library. And I'm able to listen to it. And select a portion that I want to insert into my timeline. Let me go here, click in. And then put the out point. I'll select where I want to have this in my timeline and click insert. And now this has inserted the audio inside my timeline. All right, now the last improvement I want to show you is that it's now possible to edit audio effects over time. Let me go a little bit earlier in my timeline right here, where I have a character that's walking across. So he's running inside an alley and I want to have the sound of his footsteps move from left to right. So I can go inside my effect stack right here, select the audio, so now with the balanced audio effect, I was able to add keyframes to make the sound move from left to the right channel. Let's play that back again. I've also added reverb effect to the footsteps to make it sound like he's moving from deep inside the alley to the front of the alley. And for that, I've animated the audio parameters over time. And now I can select all the keyframes from both effects, move them over time if I want to, or go in and modify slightly one of the effects. Like if I want to decrease the amount of reverb at the beginning, I can lower down the mix here on that specific keyframe. Listen it again. I think this sounds pretty convincing now. So these are some of the improvements we've done to the audio and animatics editing in Starboard Pro 24. I hope you enjoyed them and see you next time.